name is Calvin from Camp Nowesca, and I'm here to talk to you about competition. So this is the themed discussion activity for Olympics camp. So we're going to talk about competition. Competition can be both healthy and unhealthy, and it's important to recognize the difference between the two. So competition can make you want to improve. Like if you are competing with someone, whether it's in a sport like football, basketball, track, whatever, or just like with, you can compete with someone to try to get better grades. That makes you want to do better and improve yourself. But when you start competing to the point where you're trying to put other people down, that's when it becomes unhealthy for you. But competition within a team can also be unhealthy. If you try to be the best on the team and not share in like the glory of your wins, then you're tearing a team apart. And that can be detrimental to your team's uh, ability to compete. So it's important to know that it's okay to compete, but it's not okay to use competition to put another person down. I'm going to read a couple of Bible verses about competition that tie into that. Um, the first is 1 Corinthians ver chapter 9 verse 24. Do you not know that in a race all runners won, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. This verse is saying, like, if you are going to compete, do it to the best of your ability. Because if you don't try hard, then you have no chance of winning the race, winning the prize. And the other one is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. So if you are going to compete in a competition, you have to follow the rules because otherwise you're not really competing with other people. You're competing to see if you can break enough rules to win. And that's unhealthy. If you're going to be a part of a competition, follow the rules and do it to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm.